So hope, according to Jordan Peterson's evaluation, is being able to see a path or a way forward towards some desired goal, typically a highly valued goal. However, depression is not being able to see that path, only being able to view the way toward that goal as being full of obstacles and barriers. Now, <clears throat> you might be thinking to yourself, I'm not depressed or I'm not overly hopeful. I'm just realistic. And then you think about the things that you want to do in your life or you think about the things that you used to want to do with your life and you have given up hope on. Let me ask you a question. How do you think about that? When you say, yeah, when I was younger, I wanted to do X, Y, or Z. And someone says, why, why don't you do it now? And you go, oh, well, I can't because... What does that mean? What did you just do when you said, I can't because you viewed the path toward that goal only by seeing the barriers and the obstacles? Because is your obstacle. Whatever your because is, is your obstacle. But the good news is, there is a very simple way to begin overcoming this problem. Now it takes time, you have to practice it, you have to continue to do it, but it's not complex. And I first heard it from Jack Spearco over at the Survival Podcast. Highly recommend you listen to his podcast if you don't already. It's a life design podcast. Talks a lot about building a resilient lifestyle. Even though it's called The Survival Podcast. He said, if I called it The Resilient Lifestyle Podcast, nobody would listen. <clears throat> and he recommends you do this. You never, ever say, I can't. Don't ever even think those words. You think the words, how can I? How can I? I want to buy a house. How can I buy a house? Now, I can't buy a house because mortgage rates are too high. How can I buy a house? How can I start that business? How can I get this other job? How can I make my marriage better? Give your brain a problem to work on and it will begin solving problems for you. Give it a try. <laughs>